Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we have an updated version of the Ross Chastain number one BMOose.org paint scheme. This is the 2023 version. Of course we've already seen the 2022 variant uh, a couple of times actually. Of course we had the Talladega race win and then we had the Checkers or Wreckers from Martinsville. So we've kind of had our handful of the 2022 scheme but now this is the 2023 scheme which I honestly don't know which one I like better. I'm so back and forth. Like, both of the schemes are really good. I don't know if I like last year's more or not, because this one's got a new, like, dark, almost stealthy look to it. It's got a, a red foil number, so that's even better. You know, we got to love those. I don't know. It's a pretty even vote uh, for me, but it's, I don't know. It's really, really cool. We got the actual BMU's logo on the side. I don't know, man. It, just, it looks so slick. It's a lot more uh, modern and simple. And I really like that. I like the design they kind of got going on on the side here. Oh, dude. It, just, it looks so good. Then we got the updated banners, by the way. We'll take a look, uh, take a look at that here in a second. Uh, but yeah, so this might call for a side-by-side -side comparison just for an easier vote. But I don't know, man. It's oh, it's close. I, I like both of these. I want to say I like the 2022 one. Just a smidge bit more, but I don't know if that's any type of bias because I saw the Martinsville race in person and it just, you know, made it a little more epic. So I don't know if that's bias or not. Either way, this car is super sick. It just, it looks really nice. It's just a good scheme overall. I really like the dark look on the roof. You can see me in the background. Hi. Uh, but yeah, look, like that, that entire like black roof, that whole, uh, black deck lid, roof hood it just it looks great we need an all black like bmoose car or no no an all black something i know we got the pitbull car i mean it's okay it's not bad but i just i really like the red because like black and red is a great color combo anyway but the more dark color you have the more of a lighter color you can use to kind of make it pop a little more and then that, um, that's what they did here it looks again really nice and it got that red foil number just adds to it but let's go ahead and get this die cast out of the box and take a closer look at how cool this car really is. Because, honestly, once you get it out of the box, it looks so much better. Here's the die cast out of the box, and just like I said, this thing looks a hundred times better. I don't know what it is, but it looks really stealthy. It looks very intimidating. It is a very awesome paint scheme. And now, I believe Ross Chastain's actually been kind of quiet over... Uh, the 2023 season. I can't really recall a time where he's had maybe more than one or two issues on track with somebody. He hasn't got any wins. I'm sure he's done a few good runs, but nothing that I can really remember. So he's kind of, I'm not saying he's already kind of like faded into, you know, just the field. But I mean, he's not terrible. He just got eliminated from the round of eight, didn't he? I think. No. Was it? I don't know. I think he just got eliminated. But either way, uh, yeah, so it's a cool car. It really is. I like the uh, the profile. It just, it again, looks stealthy. Looks uh, very cool. It's going to be hard to pick uh, which one I like more, either last year or this year. So uh, Moose Fraternity right there. Fraternity. I guess you can say you got the little uh, Moose logo down there. Got Chastain. You do have the updated banner. There is no, like actual vent decal there but there is a spot for it i know they can do that because they did it on the uh patriotic cars got the number one right there with the track house slash a moose uh freight fraternity fraternity right is that how you say that i guess uh chastain there got some more detail on the rear windshield i like how they do that now uh moose right there on the deck lid moose on the back end with a is that a, no not a half and half i thought it was a half uh, and half spoiler there uh, so a red spoiler looks fairly cool. Of course, you got the pop rivets on the back. I love the fading of the Camaro, or the uh, red behind the Camaro. That looks really good, too. Quaker State Z01. Got the tail lights, the uh, logo, the Chevy logo up there. Got the uh, number one. Let's see, BMOose.org, Worldwide Express, Advent Health, and uh, Kubota there. Or Kubota, I'm sorry. Jockey, got the uh, Moose logo once again. Uh, you got that reflective number one that we was kind of talking about earlier. I really like the side design, and I don't know why. It just it looks really cool, and it's very simple. That black line, 
that kind of separates it. I don't know how I feel about it, but I like it, if that makes any sense. Like, it's not a bad thing, but, like, I don't know if it's an amazing thing, either. Uh, Simon's there, Ross Chastain. Of course, got the Chevy Bowtie Advent Health and Track House logo there. NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75th Anniversary. You got the uh, Goodyear there, got the Goodyear tires. Got Sunoco there, it's a little wonky, uh, but it's there nonetheless. Ooh, dude, this front end looks sick. Man, that thing looks really cool. I don't know why I love it so much, and it's it's levitating a little bit on the bottom. Uh, you can see, not very uh, straight on the bottom. It's not really a big deal. It does kind of throw the scheme off a little bit. I think these headlights are up a little more also, but... I mean, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you can definitely see where the headlight would be, but, eh, I mean, it is what it is. It's lying now. It kind of happens sometimes, but I wish that didn't happen because this would have been a fantastic nose wrap for this car. I'm almost tempted to do, like, an Instagram poll, like, you know, which one do you like more? I mean, you could let me know down in the comments which one do you like more uh, for 2022 or 2023 for the BMW Moose car. I don't know, man. It's just that 2022 car has the legacy of the race win and that stunt pulled at Martinsville. This one is just kind of a cool scheme, you know, but it's it's really kind of... I'm not trying to put in the factor of what the scheme holds. I'm trying to put in the factor of the scheme itself. And again, that's really hard to do uh, whenever you're, you're trying not to take in consideration what... Chastain actually accomplished in 2022 with that BMW Moose car. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think. I'm really leaning towards the 2023 only because I think where I'm trying to not include the amazingness of 2022 is kind of pushing me away from that. But I don't know. I'm sitting over here looking at my 124 uh, on the shelf. It's not like beside me, but... It's chilling over there, and it still looks really good, but I don't know which one I like better. It's a very hard decision. I really don't know. It may just be even for me, but I guess if I had to pick one, I'll probably go with the 2022. Uh, but I don't know. Again, it's hard. It's really difficult. I didn't think it'd be that hard to pick a scheme, but I don't know, man. That's just that's just my opinion. If you want to, I don't know, express your thoughts about the 2022 versus 2023 BMW Scar. Let me know. I'll definitely read them whenever I get the time. But with that being said, I do believe that we'll be all for this diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.